Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, May 17, 2024. May God be with you this morning and may His Spirit give you peace as you go throughout the day. Our reading today comes to us from Psalm 133, reading from verse 1 to 3, and it says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon and as the dew that descend upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for a portion of his word. And the text this morning is very plain. It says that it is good and it is a pleasant thing when we are united together as one. And not just united for unity sake, but united in the way that we, we think, the way that we worship, the way that we treat each other, and all of that unity as it relates to God and His work. And we must learn to work together as one. We must learn to treat each other with love and kindness. You know, and even as I read this text this morning, you know, I the thought came to me that some of us is like we are bent on sowing this card amongst the brethren. We go out of our way sometimes it seems to make problem and to create issue among the believers. It's like we don't like to see peace. And it's not like in your effort that you are actually doing something good. And so as we think about the reading, we understand how important it is for us to dwell in unity. And even Paul stressed this a lot in his letters to the churches because he understand that if we are divided, then it will be easy for Satan to come and pick us apart. But when we are united towards a cause, when we stand firm together as one, then it will be much, much more difficult for him to do so. God is a God of unity. And we must make sure that when we speak about unity, we don't just carelessly throw that word around because it's much more than just, as I said, unity for unity's sake. You have to be united towards a cause and that cause for it to be acceptable in the sight of God. It must be in line with his principles because that's and so I pray this morning that we will be united and that we will learn to work together as one because we are all a part of one body serving one God and God desire that we represent him in our daily lives. May God bless you today and keep you in Jesus name. Amen.